Hello guys, welcome back to Nosip Technology. My name is Shripal and today's we are going to learn how to check dumb file is corrupted or not. So without wasting your time, let's move on the computer screen and do the practically. This is my server. First, I'm going to create a dumb file. I'm going to export a schema Shripal. Okay, so let me do. It will take around few seconds to export the schema. Okay. It is completed. Go inside the directory folder. User one export and see. See are both file here dot dmp and dot log. So first of all, I'm going to check this dumb file is correct or not. So just visit on my website. I will put the link of this article in the video description. In that case, we have a, a parameter which is the SQL file. So we just trying to retrieve the data from the dumb file. If we able to retrieve the data from the dumb file, that means the dumb file is correct. If we are unable to retrieve the data from the dumb file, that means the dumb file is corrupted. Okay, so using the SQL parameter, we are going to check it. So I'm just in the schema name and dumb file name. This command actually is not going to import. It is just importing the metadata from the dumb file. Okay. As you can see on the screen, we are able to retrieve the data from the dumb file. Now I'm going to corrupt this .dmp file. So just open it with the VM editor SI and in the first line or any line, just write any keyword. Okay. Suppose I'm just writing here in the caps letter OCP in the first line. Okay. And after that, I'm just going to save this file. Okay. Now again, I'm going to run the SQL file parameter. And then that time hyphen two is the file name. Okay. So let me check. So let's check. See this time you can see here it is showing the error. This is the bad dumb file. So every time you can just verify your uh, dumb file using the SQL file parameter because the SQL file parameter when we are going to import any dumb file with the SQL file parameter, the parameter will read the dumb file completely and regenerate a dot SQL file or dot log file. This is the way to identify the dumb file is corrupted or not. I hope you found this video informatic. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.